So today we have this beautiful 2008 Porsche Cayenne GTS and it's just an amazing car. It's just amazing from every side you're gonna take a look on that. You're gonna check it out from the back, those massive bumpers, you know, and deflectors on the bottom. Nobody doing the same anymore, even the Porsche. Look at the back, look at the rocker panels on the side, look at those rims. I mean, it just Okay, I wouldn't say it's a piece of art, but for me, as I'm a car lover, it's just an insanely made car, outside or inside. So there is a lot of different things for the GTS, what, uh, what missing on the V6 or V8 regular Porsche Cayenne. We do have a nice spoiler on the back. And uh, when I first time back in the day see that car, I'm like, that's something like aftermarket Chinese, but it's actually not, it's uh, factory made. And it's just beautiful car. The size of this UV that's most desirable, I think, right now and back in the days, too. So the price for this car back in the days, 2008, 2009, it was about 70,000. And I believe so because it's a GTS, they were not produced so many of those cars. They've been selling it over sticker, that's for sure. So 70,000 back in the days, not back in the days, how many years? 15 years ago, right? And 20, 25,000 market value right now for this beautiful Porsche Cayenne. Is it worth it to buy it? I think it is worth it. Number one, if you do like the Porsche, if you do like the SUV yourself, it's kind of high performance SUV, 405 horsepower, and you're gonna get it all. I mean, even 79,000 miles on the car, it's 15 years old, but it's still super strong. I mean, we do have enough power to step on the gas and the car just flies as a SUV, not as a sport 911 car, but it just an insanely made. It is the same kind of body as a VW Touareg. So the doors, they are, take, you can take it apart. You can take the frame and shell of the door and you can put it on a uh, VW Touareg. So basically a lot of parts, they are interchangeable. And that same way you can find a lot of different ways to do the maintenance or to replace something on your car for much cheaper. Just because you're looking for the part from VW, not from the Porsche, but all the parts, they do have the same labels for the both cars. So the design, again, I love it so much. It's just insanely made like the mirrors. Right? Look at the mirrors, look at the design, the way they made it. It's not only straight black mirrors, it's, it's super cool. All the deflectors on the bumper, on the back, on the front, on and the side, it just kind of comes together. Whoever made it, he did a good job. And he did a good job not only for that generation when the car been selling brand new, he did it for a long period of time. And I think this car, it's gonna appreciate the value a little bit later and for much more, just because not so many cars are gonna be on the market soon. Already not so many. How many GTS you can find right now? Any auto search, any auto selling platform right now, check it out. How many GTS in US you can find in good condition, less than 100,000 miles? I don't think you're gonna find that many. That's why this GTS, especially this one, because it came from Japan, it's one of the best example of the old style Porsche Cayenne available to buy. So let's check what's going on inside. Just when you open the door, look at the door panels, look at the quality, the way they made it, look at the leather and all those pieces, it's just insane. Alcantara, we do have it everywhere. So those bucket seats, I mean, Alcantara on the bucket seats on the bottom, it just worn out a little bit, but only front seats, not the back one. So we do have a, uh, headliner and a lot of different pieces they are Alcantara made it's just insane look at the buttons I mean all those buttons for the seat adjustments they clicking you know you're not you pushing them and you hear the click that's the sound that's the sound I like you know that's the quality you can touch you can feel it the dashboard there is no words about it it's just a super nice quality made. So we do have a sun shades. Sometimes I do see they are working like this car. 
it's all working. All the pieces in the car, they're not missing, they're all functioning, and it's super cool. On the back, I wouldn't say there is a lot of space on the back, but again, for like four people, or maybe to put the uh, child seat and go some places, that's the perfect size of the SUV. And uh, again, it's a luxury SUV. It's not the SUV for everybody. And back in the day, 70,000 bucks, I think 70,000 more and you can buy the house. Maybe not, but it was more than enough for the good apartment somewhere in Los Angeles, not top area. So let's see what's going on in the trunk. So we do have a kind of huge trunk. The rear seats, they are folding down. So we do have a full size spare tire. And what I found here, I don't know. Honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe that's the, that's the inflator kit for the spare tire because I think the spare tire, you have to uh, pump the air. But you might know, if you know, just put the comments below if you do have that. I never ever, honestly, see that kind of thing in a Porsche Cayenne. But we do have that made in Poland. And we do have original part number on it. So that's basically in later hose, like a kit. So you connecting it somewhere. I have no idea where, maybe it's under the uh, spare tire. You have to pull it out and connect this one. I'm assuming it's taking the air from the air suspension and you can pop the air. We do have a gauge, we do have a hose. That's super cool thing. Again, if you do know what is that, just put the comment below. I would like to know because I didn't do the search on that, because I didn't know that thing exists, exists, especially in this car. So we are missing the cover, the trunk area cover, cargo area cover, right? So we do have a power button and it's all working. The design outside is just insane. So on this side of the car, it's exactly the same. The rear seat, it just, I wouldn't say it's super new, but it's great condition. I mean, there is no sign, uh, there is no signs of uh, wear and tear on this car. Honestly, there is one thing I did see. There is a silicone already here. So basically, that's the common problem. All the Audis and the Porsche has the back part of the seat just falling down because the glue just dries, and that's it. It's popping out, and you have to do a lot of Mickey Mouse stuff like putting the glue or silicone on it to make it work. Just look at the key, that's original Porsche Cayenne key. And it's made design like it is a car. So we do have like a headlights and we do have a three buttons. And it's just amazing. I mean, the key itself. And as always, Porsche, we do have a lock, ignition lock on the left side, easy to start it. The sound of engine, just amazing. Let's pump the hood and hear it. Let's hear the engine. We do have a 4.8 V8 engine, natural inspiration with no turbo, no compressor. And the sound of engine just amazing. I mean, again, V8 engines, they all gonna be uh, part of the history soon. And all the automakers, they're not gonna produce that V8, V8 engines anymore because it just, super not efficient on the gas. People don't want it. People want something smaller, four cylinder turbo, twin turbo, three turbo, four turbo, whatever you want to do, but something smaller, something less on gas. So basically this, this is kind of dinosaur and uh, in 2023. But again, if you are, if you know what you're buying, if you want to buy a piece of history and it's going to be always on your mind, buy the Porsche Cayenne because the price for the Porsche Cayenne okay this car going about 20 24,000 with that mileage and that condition what you can buy what you can compare to this car there is not so many cars you can compare but I'm assuming what you can buy that's the maybe older Chevy Tahoe maybe it's not the same maybe something like the Ford it's not the same something newer you can buy maybe CRV or Pilot or Hyundai Kia nothing I mean there is nothing to compare to Porsche GTS 2008 2009 about price range between 20 and 25 I'm talking about good condition car I'm not talking about 170 200,000 miles needs a lot of work this car right now needs nothing like zero it's on it only <clears throat> 
it only needs a good credit card with huge amount of money so you can you can spend a lot of money on the gas every day while you're driving the car. But same time, you have to be prepared for maintenance and do the oil change filters and the brake pots and maybe some other small things on this car. It's not going to cost too expensive, but same time, it's not going to cost same as a Toyota Corolla. So the mainly why I like this car a lot, because it feels quality everywhere. All the switches, all the leather interior, all the handles, it's just so amazing. I mean, right now, any new car, you're going to take it and compare with this 2008 Cayenne, you're not going to get the same quality. You're not going to get the same feeling about the car because it's not the art it's just the way those cars used to be built back in the days plus the the porsche they made this car i think back in 2002 it was a perfection of the suv because what you can compare in that year only bmw x5 uh, and that's it so basically as everybody know there is a porsche cayenne came up in 2003 but actually it's not it came out in 2002 uh, in Europe and Germany uh, just because back in the days 2010 I used to have one Porsche but it was a turbo and it was 2002 black with aluminum interior like this but the car was super amazing it was a Porsche Cayenne turbo and uh, honestly I used to have that car for about a year I never did the oil change on that car I never actually done any any kind of maintenance on that car maybe just the filters you know why because every 60 miles i've been adding about one one and a half liter of oil to the engine so basically it's been burning oil like crazy i don't know why maybe the turbo was not so bad i mean not so good or maybe the pistons or the cylinders they already been worn out so the car was not smoking uh it was perfectly fine a lot of power but for some reason every 60 miles on the freeway uh, the oil was not enough in the engine so I used to add more this way I was not changing the oil at all just because it's burning faster than the miles coming for the maintenance so while you're driving this car you sit in the beautiful bucket seats and they're so good I mean this car 2008 so it's a 15 years old car has 79,000 miles and it's just amazing condition inside. So all the leather, like on a dashboard, it's not popping out, it's not squeezing, you know, because the main reason I think the car in great condition, uh, just because all those years it's been in Japan. So basically, if you check the Carfax, you're gonna see 2008, the car was sold brand new uh, somewhere in San Diego, and it got disappeared from uh, Carfax, from everywhere, just because somebody bought it brand new, ship it to Japan, and right now, as some of the cars I reviewed before from Japan, the currency changed, and um, basically, it makes sense to buy this car right now over there and ship it back to United States. 2023 by Carfax, they got the title, I think Alabama or Arkansas, I don't know why, not California, but anyway, so just in september this year they got a title for this car and it back again on the u.s market so one of the one of the point we have aftermarket huge screen here and there is a lot of different things because in japan when the car went from united states to japan they do have a different frequencies on the radio so they changing it they replace it for the japanese one and when the time came the car coming back to united states they again replace it with something from china we do have a backup camera we do have some other uh, features here there is a uh, internet i don't think it's working there is a youtube whatever so the climate control it's kind of kind of tricky because if you're going to close it so there is not so many options you can do on the climate control you can do the temperature adjustment you can do the fan adjustment actually you can put on auto like all climate control but here when you open this cover you're going to see some extra uh, if you don't want to do if you don't want to do auto you can adjust it and those buttons they still in a good condition they not 
they not stuck yet and uh, the paint on them it's in really good shape so usually all the Cayennes especially the old one 2003 2012 2010 I mean whatever so all the paint in the middle it just falling apart there's a lot of scratches and some of the buttons they just getting stuck not working this car it's in perfect condition look just look at the steering wheel it's all original leather all the stitches they are original so the the steering wheel was not redone yet and don't have to do so the only thing i don't understand so it used to be the cayenne it used to be a uh, turbo turbo s and gts so the gts it was about seventy thousand uh, dollars new one and the turbo was a little bit more why they didn't put the cluster the same way from turbo on the gts i have no idea because here we have only just a regular cluster it's not multicolor but on the turbo we do have a multicolor cluster even 2003 porsche cayenne has much better cluster than this one it's kind of ugly in my opinion but same time that's more than enough information on the cluster for you as a driver so does it make sense to buy this car in 2023 i would say yes and no because number one it is a reliable car porsche cayenne this old body they are really reliable i mean we're not talking about some uh, bushings on the suspension which is common problem we're not talking about turbo because turbo they not so reliable but v8 engines especially this one 4.8 400 horsepower it's i think in my opinion it's more than reliable i never see the the problematic car like that and i know some guy who was driving more than 200,000 miles and all he done just like valve cover gaskets maybe maybe some bushings maybe drive shaft so not so many again if you're gonna buy the car like that in 2023 you are gonna get super high quality car porsche suv but the only problem you're gonna spend a lot of money for the gas so this car you cannot put ethanol you cannot go twice cheaper on the gas and right now in california we do have a six six plus dollar per gallon so basically to drive it every day as a commute car you're gonna spend about i don't know maybe 50 dollars a day just for the gas we're not talking about maintenance i think it's kind of expensive uh but again there is not so many cars on the road and you if you want to show up on a beautiful white uh cayenne old generation in amazing condition believe me people gonna appreciate it and you as a driver you're gonna appreciate this car you're gonna appreciate your time and your choice because it's just an amazing car amazing all the materials in this car they made like on the high top level at that time and right now like i say it's uh you cannot compare it i mean if you want to take the new porsche cayenne and drive it and compare the design and all the materials they use in the uh, in or out the car it's not the same it is a high quality car it is a top dollar right now for the new porsche but just to compare both cars it's not the same anymore and i don't know why i think again right now they're producing much more cars than before because just because a lot of people want to buy it and there's lease options this and that so there is a lot of different ways how to buy the car so they have to produce more to meet the needs so before they've been just producing whatever amount they can produce in a high quality level so without you know regret we produce like five million cars and half of them is not working right so they've been doing like a pieces that's the my opinion of german engineering 400 horsepower it's more than enough for this car again you're not doing it's not a truck car you're not you're not gonna go racing on that it's just a suv if you want to go somewhere off the road you want to you want to take it to big bear for example we're here in los angeles you want to go snowing you want to go some dirt off road you can do so not so heavy because we do have a four by four uh all-wheel drive car we do have adjustable suspension so you basically can lift it up uh, or lower it down if you going on the freeway super fast and we do have a locker for four by four differential so basically we do have a locker 
как это называется? Would you have a transfer case locker? Would you have a rear rear axle locker? And it's more than enough to do off-road whatever you want to do. But if you want to go heavy way, definitely you can lift up this car and put different tires, MT or AT, and you can do a lot of crazy stuff. That's what the people doing with old Cayennes, because basically if you're going to buy 2003, 2004, uh, for about 10,000 and you're gonna put 20,000 on top of that, you're gonna get super cheap off-road SUV ready to go. And I would say this car, it's an old school car and I'll tell you why. Number one, when the car is cold, it's shaking kind of a lot. It's not shaking because it's misfiring. It just, you have to wait to warm it up before you're gonna start driving it. So basically all your uh, <coughs> engine motor mounts, there is oil, so you have to warm up the engine so it's going to move much easier, much kind of softer. Steering wheel, I mean the power steering wheel, we do have actual power steering wheel. There is no electric one like right now. So, and again, when the car is super cold, not super cold, when it just started up, you, it's really hard for you to move the steering wheel just because it's natural, it's an old school car. So right now the car is warmed up, we already drove it a little bit, it's running super smooth. I mean, there is not so many vibration on the body and the steering wheel, you can turn it, but it's still kind of heavy. It's not that easy to do so. That's why this car is so amazing. Back, I mean, several years from now, you're not gonna get the, uh, you're not gonna get especially this car because they're all gonna be gone from the market so some some people gonna keep it for a while maybe a floor mileage and the price gonna go up for sure but all new cars they're not doing this way so people want an easy drive they want a less problematic car so we switch into electric cars but that's the that's the nice piece of history porsche so one of the common problems for the Porsche Cayenne old body style like that or even older, that's the headlights. So basically people still in headlights, doesn't matter Europe, Russia or United States, I did see a lot of that because it's easy to do so. If you're going to take something and stick between the bumper and the headlight, you can unclick it. There is only two clips holding the headlight and you can pull it out and take it somewhere and sell it. They are expensive. And same time, you can find a lot of different kits, kind of prevention, so you can put that kit so nobody can steal it easily. Headlights. I know there is a lot of different things you can tell about this Porsche Cayenne. Like there is a lot of problems people facing. There is a cooling system and this, that transfer case. There is some sensors, some small motors. There is a lot of good things you can say about this car. But my point is just to share with you how nice is this car looking, how nice this car driving. After 15 years being on the market, like everywhere 2008 we compare in 2023 it's still beautiful car it's still getting a lot of attention from the people outside and it's just insane car it's just insanely made porsche cayenne suv and um, that's why i want to share it with you so if you do have some comments just put it below you do have some questions again put it below put some thumbs up please subscribe and uh, i'll see you guys soon thank you so much for watching it